Are you having trouble growing your biceps? Do these two exercises right now. I mean it, right now. Let's go, come on. Come on, baby! Come on. All right, guys, I put together two exercises for biceps that I promise you will leave you with the biggest biceps you ever had that day. I'm guaranteeing maximum lactic acid buildup, maximum pump, maximum muscle growth, so let's get into it. Two exercises. Here are the two exercises we're gonna do. We're gonna do easy bar curls with a mechanical drop set of easy bar drag curls. Then after that, we're gonna do concentrated hammer curls. With a little bit of a caveat at the end of it to make it that much better to finish off your arms. So you look nice like this. Just joking. They'll be as nice and big as you can get them for your arms. Okay, so I'm using the trackable easy bar. It's completely fine. This is basically an easy bar like everybody else. The only difference is this, you can rack it. Funny thing is I'm gonna use it from the floor because it makes it easier for it to film. So don't worry about what kind of bar you have. If you have an easy bar, any easy bar will do. So form wise, again, from floor to core, make sure your feet are a little bit outside hip width. You don't wanna be like this. I see this all the time. I don't know why people do this. It's, it's weird, right? Sit about outside shoulder width apart. And then I want you to let the weight pull your shoulders down naturally. Get your chest up. You're gonna push your shoulders away a bit. And then because we're sitting here and there's really nothing happening right now, we're gonna make it work that much harder. How we're gonna do that is we're gonna lean a little bit and we're gonna push our arms out slightly, right? Right now I have a load onto my biceps by just going from here to here. That's it. Now there's a stretch from here. Now our curls basically look like this, all the way up, curling up, right? And then controlling it down. And this is gonna be exactly how you're gonna do this. So basically up, 1,001, 1,002, stretch, pull. 1,001, 1,002, stretch, pull. And then as soon as you can't get the required amount of reps, which would be 10 to 15 reps, we're gonna do a mechanical drop set of drag curls. So once you're here and you're like, I can't get this last one, shit, ugh, uh, F you Johnny, this hurts so good. And you're here, then we're gonna go from here, we're gonna lean over a little bit like this, a tiny hinge of the hips, and we're gonna drag this guy up, chest is gonna stay up, elbows are gonna go back while we drag the bar up our body. Don't do shrag curls, we're not doing this, okay, don't do this. Elbows are going back, they're going back while we're dragging the bar up our chest to here. You see that right there? I can't go any higher. My, my, my buys won't do anything else unless I do this. And there's not a drag curl anymore, right? So we're here, elbows are back, up, just to here, pinch and down. So we're gonna do this, bam. Two. Oh, and you do this as many times as you can until you're like, holy geez, I can't get any more. I need even do this, and, ah, and that's it, right? So 10 to 15 reps of a controlled rep, up, bam, 1,001. 1,002, stretch, bam. 1,001, 1,002, stretch, bam. And then right there, you can't get up anymore. Then we're doing a mechanical drop set of drag curls shooting back, one. And we're gonna do as many as we can with the same tempo. Got it? Get it? Great, let's start. Hey guys, before we continue with this video, I gotta make sure you guys are hydrated. You hydrated yet? Probably not. Check it out, I got answers for you. Guys, use my code Johnny10 for 10% off amino fats. Like, what, what's amino fats, guys? Amino fats is gonna increase your overall performance, reduce muscle soreness, improve your hydration, and it's gonna prevent muscle cramps. And guess what? All our flavors taste amazing. So guys, again, use my code Johnny10 for 10% off your next order of amino fats right now. Okay, back to the show. Okay, so the constant is this, guys. 10 to 15 reps of a two second negative, one second pause, stretch at the bottom, and a second up. 10 to 15 reps when you cannot get it anymore because you can no longer achieve proper form. Then you're gonna drop and do the mechanical drop set. Let's go.
Okay. Ah, that felt good. This is real time. I put on a 25 earlier and I was like, are you kidding me? Use a weight that you can actually control. When I started off with this weight, I'm like, this is gonna be way too easy. And then by like the 10th rep, it just kicked in. All the reps were effective. But when you, you overhype yourself, you're gonna grab weight that's way too heavy and you won't be able to achieve the reps. We wanna get at least a minimum amount of reps first. So at least 10 to 15 reps. So if you do your first set and you can get way more than 15, add a little bit more weight, that's fine. Or take that first set past, I mean, two failure with the weight that you have so you don't have to waste any time doing a bunch of nonsense sets, right? And then you'll do your mechanical drop. But do not add weight that you cannot control. So we're gonna rest about like two minutes, give ourselves like two minutes. If your heart rate has a calm down by two minutes, rest another 30 seconds and then start again. That's it, that's it. Move on to the next exercise. And if you're doing this right, by now you're like, holy geez, there's no way I was doing more exercises than this. Or you're probably having a flashback of your arm day where you probably have like four to five exercises. And you're like, what the heck? There's one exercise, three hard sets, and I feel like I can go home right now. Well, hold on your horses. Go one more exercise. Let's go. Okay, so. Last exercise. Yes, only two today, guys. I said in the beginning of the video. So don't mess with my retention, pay attention. All right, so we're doing bicep hammer curls concentrated. We're gonna sit the backwards. We're gonna do concentrated bicep hammer curls. So what we're gonna do here, guys, is our regular type of concentration curls gonna be basically like this. We're here and we're curl like this, which is fine, right? Here we're going to do a hammer curl. Again, we're picking weight for this. You just finished an exercise. Don't think you're gonna be just as strong as you continue to the next exercise. You will lose strength, you lose nutrients, you lose calories, you lose energy throughout your workout. What you don't lose is your ability to give the max amount of effort. So what we're gonna do here is lower your weight to make sure that we can do proper form. Again, I'm not saying lowering the weight just so you can do the form. I'm saying take off about like 10% of what you would probably do before or maybe coming from the next exercise. I wanna be able to achieve this, so here, just to give you without any weight, we're gonna put our back of our arm right in the inside of our thigh. If you use your elbow, you're gonna give yourself a charlie horse and you're gonna, be, you're gonna hate this exercise. So don't do this, unless you got a knot here and trying to take it out, get this part here, right? And don't be so far away either, so our shoulders are like this, tuck it in. We wanna be here, tucked in nice and tight from here. We have some great amount of leverage. Now, I'm leaning back like this, so when we do our curl, we're gonna curl our weight up, and then on the way back, we're gonna stretch away from it. We wanna keep that stretch onto the bicep. If we go here, there's nothing happening here. We do this, there's a stretch from here. So we're gonna look like this. I'm gonna have my thumb up this way so you know the direction of the dumbbell or maybe you have a dumbbell that's shaped like a thumb. Someone's got a dumbbell shaped like a thumb. All right, just saying, somebody does. Anyway, for here, right, where we're getting our bicep and we're getting our forearm. All of the bicep, brachioradialis if you want to sound fancy. Brachioradialis, brachii, brachialis, all the other brach, 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 brach. Bicep forearm, right, like this. We're pulling up, we're gonna control it down, right? We're gonna pull up, 1,001, 1,002, stretch. We're gonna lean back a bit and stretch on it, pull. 1,001, 1,002, stretch. Once you can't achieve that, and you're at this point here, because everyone will get there, and you're like, Hugh! It's like, this isn't going up. We're gonna use a little bit of the help from our elbow here. We're not gonna pull up this way. We're gonna push our arm like this. We're gonna pull it up just so we get it up. And we're gonna do like a five second negative on the way down. Three, four, five, stretch. And we're gonna pull it up. Then we're oh, And you're gonna do five reps like that at the very end when you cannot do it anymore. We're only emphasizing the negative to the stretch. 
part of lift at the end. So we're not really doing much of a contraction in terms of the positive. You're gonna positive a little bit. We want a positive contraction. We want a concentric. We want you to flex the damn bicep. So flex the bicep at this point. So I'll make it easy for you guys. We're gonna pull like this here. We're lean back, two, three, four, five. Hock it up, boom. One, two, three, four. Stretch like that. And that's how the lift is gonna be. So let's get started. I recommend do the arm that you believe is smaller. If you're like, ah, oh, imbalances, do the arm that might be weaker or might be smaller and do the second arm after. All right, guys, so remember 10 to 15 reps, two second negative, one second stretch, one second positive. Got it? So when we grab our weight, right in the middle, don't grab up here, don't grab here. Grab right in the middle, knuckles facing the ground, let your arm nice and straight. We're gonna let you pull down here, we're gonna place the back of our tricep or our back of our arm into our thigh. We're gonna pull, we're gonna sit up a little bit like this, lean back, chest is gonna be sucked right into here, like my arm's gonna be sucked into my chest. I have a stretch from here, then we're curling. One. Two. Three. And the important thing here, guys, we wanna make sure that this stays aligned, right? The lean back makes this stretch so much harder at the bottom. Remember, no momentum. Stretch, three more. Two. Last one. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ow, okay, arm is on fire. So let this one cool off. Don't jump to the next arm because right now my heart rate is going because I just trained one arm already. So I want to get my heart rate to calm down a bit. I'm not gonna rest the entire two minutes. I'm gonna rest for like about a minute. My body step should be able to, my heart rate should calm down a bit. Remember, I'm not training the same arm, I'm training the other arm, my other arm is completely fresh. I just wanna make sure my heart rate calms down a bit so I don't run out of breath doing the second arm. So, same thing, second arm. All right, so next set. Again, set this thing up so you're not like, I don't wanna start this like this and then start moving. I'm gonna adjust this so it's where I wanna have it. So when I pick up, it's easy just to be in place. So right here, I roll it to me close. Here, elbows the back of my arm. Pulling up a bit, leaning back. Don't let your wrist do any of this. Keep it flat like this, and then up, controlling it down. Leaning back a bit. So rest up again, we're gonna rest for the full two minutes. Get us nice and fresh, and then start on the other side. Again, remember three hard sets of these. That's six total sets. Six total sets today. You do another arm day, or you put this on your back day again. That's another six total sets. That's 12 hard sets in a week. You can push a little more if you wanna do like, say like four hard sets. Again, you're gonna have to scale things yourself. I find that you're more advanced, you don't have to do as many sets. You can just really connect to the muscle that much easier and you're working that much more efficiently. When you're a beginner, you might wanna do four hard sets um, of each. So that gives you a total of 16 hard sets in a week. See the difference? So there's my little advice for you guys if you're trying to grow your arms. All right, just rest up a little longer and then we have our last set. What's up, 
pump is good. The pump's not done, the work was done. I'm done. The pump is still on. It'll probably be on for the next few minutes. Either way, let me know if you guys give this a go in the comments section below. And until next time, guys, you know how it is. Iron, Shepherd's Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace. Yeah.